Hello, welcome to episode 4 of my Talk United FM. We're playing our first game against Brav in the FA Cup round 1. Now, before I start or I explain, basically, I record the game. Sometimes on your game, you're going to notice I have a little bit of glitch into what I've done. I've gone back to the highlights, chopped up the uh, the um, scoreboard, you know, when you go back and view goals. I tried saving game, but it just didn't work for me. I don't know if I was doing something wrong. It seemed like it was wrong format. Anyway, early on, we had what we thought was a goal. Against Bradford uh, in Africa round one, something we couldn't do in real life, uh, but it was ruled out. Um, they came forward, broke through on goal, and well, a mix of good defending, good goalkeeping, and I think I, fa I don't really know what happened there, but we got away with it. And then later, I think about the 20th minute, at the back post, 1 0. And um, their keeper was a bit hesitant, got punished, and well, if we get to the cut round two, it'd be amazing. The aim is three. I want to get to the third round at some point in the save. Bradford had a free kick, and it just went over. Um, so, yeah, a very even game. It would have been a nice atmosphere to play more. In real life, we missed out on the game at Cheltenham because we're rubbish. Um, we have to lose Hampton Richmond, who I did beat, obviously, in this, in the qualifying round. Second half came in. Look at that. Unlucky, but it falls. We got the luck we deserve. Miko Abero, who just isn't signing this loan extension. I did a really dumb thing when I had these two Huddersfield players. I gave them six pump deals because I've done it before, and then you think, oh, I can get another two, but. You only allowed a set amount of loans as we won and got Oxford City. We, you know, we should be in the next game. You know, the really stupid thing of just going, oh, it'll be fine as we get a bit shaky with the old highlights in this one, but it does calm down. Um, we're on 1 0 up, coming now, Evans with the goal. Um, I have a little glitch like that. It's not perfect, I'm still ironing it out. Um, but yes. Uh, yeah, I, I do this thing where I go, oh, six months, and if he's rubbish, I can always cancel it, because I always forget to put Terminate Loan in anyway. And, uh, yeah, it, it didn't really work out how I was planning it to, to be honest with you. Um, but, yeah, we went 2 up, Lemon Ivans with the goal. It was all good, another routine win. We're doing very well, looking good for playoffs on the outside title, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, it's just, with these loans, the problem I've had is Huddersfield only gave me two. And then we usually can do four or five from the same club. And then I did them six months and Abera's and so I was just not talking to me. And he, he just stopped talking to me. It's really annoying. Um, bear in mind, he was obviously my main striker. It's definitely an issue because I only have Dan Holman, who's two star, and Danny Wright, who's two and a half star, and 37. So he never really does anything on FM, as good as he was in real life for talking last season when he played when he wasn't injured. Anyway, this, this win was routine. Um... It's nice to keep picking up. Lemon Ivan's having a really good season. Carried on where he was last season in real life. And yeah, it's all going pretty darn well. I've never said darn in my life, but there we go. Um, I'm just enjoying the squads. They're, they're, I'm getting the most out of them. How long that lasts, I don't know. Uh, I just seem to get playoffs this season. And then if I don't go up, I don't go up. I don't think this squad right now, as I'm recording this video... Maybe strong enough, but we will see. It's certainly showing it whether we can last. I don't know, but that's how it goes. Um, once injuries come in, I've got a good 11, but I worry that as soon as the injuries come in, and if I can't find another striker in January, that could be an issue. Anyway, on to the next game, which we travel to Barnet, and they score an absolute screamer. Like, look at that. It's just unbelievable. No one's stopping that. And yeah, this is one of these not particularly nice games. They're all over us. Super keeper in goal. Doing what he does best. Making saves. But yeah, I was fuming at half time. Absolutely fuming with him. Um, and that, that and third kit so nice in real life, by the way. Might, might ask for it for Christmas, you know. Because I'm, well, I'm 22, but I, I'm still treated like a mate. It's fantastic. you just got to be a, a well-liked only child in life, and then you're fine. Anyway, what I wasn't liking was my bar my team at Barnet right now. So I absolutely fumed at half-time, and that did absolutely no difference. <laughs> and the 4-4-2 ended up in as well. No difference. Not happening. Very bad defeat. I think I got them in training next day. Fuming. I was shot away. Got to put the wrongs right. You get Aussie I'm in that mad stage where it's like two games a week. Um, and he's like, I made a couple of changes, but it just, I worry I'm starting to get into that stage now where it's going to start going wrong, but it's just good. I don't want us to win the league first season, really. I'm a wood, but you know what I mean? Uh, I want to get playoffs at least as we went 1-0 up. Keenan O'Connell was having a very good season, both my wings are him and Gabby Rogers. 
Um, Jake Ham's injured and he starts coming to it. Um, as we almost instant conceded, somehow it stayed out. Um, but yeah, I just it. My goal is just get playoffs and keep the job and then build it. But I need, a, I feel like I need a stronger uh, squad next year. Um, I feel good at putting scores together. I wonder if it's going to be as easy. It usually is where you just, you know, find like 10 really good players from least by like top teams to get it or not. From what I've found, and as that is just a disaster from Halstead and Co. Um, what I've found is it's hard to get players, which means it could actually be more of a challenge. It's more realistic. I like it. You know, you have to work harder with your transfers. You can't just fly through a league, do about 10 signings, yeah, done as Halstead. What's the point in you? Honestly, what are you doing? What, what are you doing? That's what I mean. Individual mistakes are creeping in now as he goes down to like a 5.7. That's the real host that we know and love. Um, luckily, Joe Lewis made it 2 2. He's just, let's be honest, I'm losing it. And he's a knight in real life. He deserves to be playing football league. He's not talking to me and got a bit annoyed. But I was like, no, all right, fair enough. And he's like, oh, you treated me bad. I'm like, I've got no man management. I'm like, what? I just said you can go, you prick. And I'm saying, no, please stay. And I'm like, okay, we'll see how it goes, you know. Whatever. He's my favourite player in real life, so don't blame him. Anyway. Almost made it, completed the comeback, which would have been nice after that might result, but that was a draw. At least we didn't have back to back defeats. Ulster was going to be instantly dropped, even though he's actually done quite well. It's a bit harsh on him. He's had one horrific game. But um, yeah, I'm not refining really my. I think yeah, but the other keeper's good, but he's young. And I've never played much football, to be honest. In this, in this, I'm talking about. God, don't talk to me about real life. Like McDonald's above them all. Anyway, next game. Trying to have the not the best away, and we slipped away from Notts County, which is still, you know, just playoffs. Get into the playoffs, the boys know what to do after last season. The power by the keeper, and it's 1 0. The guy who's just not talking to me keeps scoring. Um, we on to it. This game was a lot better. I thought we were a lot better performance. Uh, we seem to be a lot better at home. It gets like that at times. I don't know if I changed tactics up. I've started doing balanced a bit. Um, but yeah, I'm not tactically amazing. I've kind of just had the same um, tactics for a few years. And then I sort of tweak them here and there. You know what I mean? Like I don't, with me on FM, like I could, as we, I have that goes in, I don't know. <laughs> I could sit here and try and, I don't, I'm not in here just to like break the game, if that makes sense. I have a tactic, plays of football I like. It limits my players at times. It's more about the sort of players and their form. Um, my aim goal is to go 4-4-2. But I'm just going 4-2-3-1 just because of the score we've got. We don't have two very good strikers. We barely have one, to be honest. Well, especially when Mika at the lowly goes. But, yeah. I'll probably go 4-4-2 next season or 4-4-2 in January if I can't find the strikers. I've, I've changed the t- won't change the tactics. People look at me and think, oh, what are you doing? Or I might say, oh, well, yeah, it's not part of the fun. But I just like the football this team plays in this tactic. Um, and yeah, quite a routine victory at home again. Just got to keep going. Keep going to those playoffs. Hopes injuries don't sneak in as Halifax get one back. Uh, it's always frustrating to lose your clean sheet right at the end. But nevertheless, return to winning ways in third place. Very nice. Yeah, this is confirmation. He just doesn't want to sign in. A bit of spoilers, he doesn't. Like, uh, I don't know why I'm going to stay right now. My previous screen's a bit blurred because I, <laughs> I, have, I have limitations at times. But yeah, he, he doesn't want to sign. I made a massive cock up there. I don't know what I was doing. The other centre-back's rubbish, so he's fine to go. But um, yeah, anyway, on to the next game. Uh, Weymouth away. Local-ish derby. Probably the most, yeah, it's the most local derby we have. Um, and yeah, 1-0 to them. One of those many free kicks, which uh, penalty sorry, it's always end up being a penalty. There we go. 1-1. One, one. Um, I'm enjoying the engine a bit more. <laughs> Um, whether that effect wears off when you've seen it or a lot, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, we're, the both teams were well up for it. Um, as we come forward here, we're still playing good pass and football. With this, yeah, as I say, four four two. This means I like my strikers to be very hard work and I like them to almost dip in at times as like number tens. Um, as that somehow didn't go in, but that is the plan. I just don't have a team fit. I've tried it here and there. I haven't really given enough patience, but I just feel I need, especially with that um, number ten. I've got the Englunch. From Redden on loan, and he's been making the most of him because he's been decent. Link that. I know Lionel Evans has had a fantastic start to the season. Uh, anyway, yeah, that happened. That really happened. Again, what's going on? 
That's frustrating. And anyway, we got back into the game instantly. He's so good. Like, you can't... If I have my aim is to have two of him next season and then hopefully I'll just pee the league next year. That is the plan. Let's have a decent team. Let's have two very good strikers. And look at that. He's done it. What a boy he is. And I'm so annoyed he can't stay. Um, but yeah, I mean, again, limbs in the way and that would have been in real life. Um... But yeah, I thought we played well. It's two very sloppy goals we conceded. Um, it was the penalty in that one from there. As we've got another penalty. I think they're more realistic. Some penalties, you just look at your AIs, uh, the, your defenders, and you're like, what are you doing? As well, if did end up actually going down to 10 men, and it all just got a bit insane from that point, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, I'll say, but yeah, a lot when I don't really know what I'm saying next. I'm just kind of waffling at this stage. Um, but what a team. No, I'm so happy. If you think of what to do in real life, a low need's been a big difference. Of course, back for again, I want a more per I like to make my plan next seems to be a permanent team around what I've lost. A lot of like this guys have scored. Um, uh, exploring next season, so I want to try and get there. In the football league, it'll be easy, but if I stay in the national league, it's going to be harder. Uh, but the wage caps will kick in for the bigger team, so we'll see. But what a win. 6-2. Very nice way. Weymouth for very 6 to the stomach after that. Oh, yeah. And, um, yeah. See you next episode. Thanks so much for the likes. I'm really getting into the football manager community now. It's lovely. I don't know I've been here before, to be fair. So much just more my sort of people. It's doing it for the right reasons. So that bit, I'm sure. Not clickbaiting. It's all good.